What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be putting uh, some outlets in the bed of my truck. <clears throat> this here is a, uh, it's got a three position outlet I got off Amazon. It's got a uh, 12 volt socket on one side, a voltage meter, and two USBs on the other. I'm going to be running it from the bed of my truck to power uh, my, my refrigerator back there as well as you know charging cell phones, Bluetooth speaker, whatever you want to plug in back there. I'm going to be running it to this fuse brick I wired in with a low voltage disconnect. I got another video I did on this. If you want to check that out, I'll probably put it up up here somewhere or in the description. And if you want to check out any of this stuff, um, I'll link it below. Alright, so first things first is deciding on where you want to put your outlet. I originally wanted to mount it right here on the side of the bed but it's gonna be really hard for me to get um, back to that point in between the uh, outer shell and the inner shell of the of the bed because um, I'd have to come up from underneath and it's just a long reach to get up there um, my fridge is right here I got it on a slide I'm gonna plug it in so I want it on this side, but I think that I pulled the tail light off and I think I decided that I'm going to mount it right here instead. It's not as, as easy to get to, but it's a, a lot better location as far as wiring it up and I'll show you why. So this is um, the back side with the remove the tail light. That's easy to do if you don't know. It's just two screws on the... Uh, inside inside the tailgate two screws and the tail light just comes straight back unplug the wiring harness and you're good to go so mounting it on the inside originally where I wanted to I would have to come way up from underneath here and try to get up there and it's just I just didn't feel like doing all that to be honest with you I'll pull the tail light out and wiring it up on that secondary position on the back side of the bed will come through right here and I can I can get access all those wires through this hole in the bed to mark the holes for drilling I just took the uh, the sockets out of the face plate and I have a silver sharpie what I'm gonna do is just eyeball it I'm gonna line it up just run it keep it in line with this edge here and I wanted to put it higher but that big hole the access point behind the tail light the top of it lines up about with this being about midway so I'll put a little mark there now I'm just gonna line this up hole saw and I'm just going to line it up best I can
Now I'm going to prep the fuse panel side of my wire before running it under the truck with a piece of heat shrink tubing and a ring terminal. This is 12 gauge stranded wire that I picked up from my local hardware store and I put a piece of red electrical tape on, on one of the wires on both ends so I can keep track of which wire is my hot wire. Now that I have the ring terminals on, it's time to go ahead and run the wire down under the truck. I'm going to start in the engine bay on um, the fuse panel end. And, uh, plug, go ahead and plug my wire actually into the fuse panel to make sure I have enough slack for the wire. From there, I'm going down through the engine bay. And this may vary depending on the type of vehicle you're installing this on. But I'm going down through the engine bay along the frame on the driver's side. Um, tied in with the brake lines and whatnot running alongside those all the way to the back of the truck from there I'm going to cross over to the passenger side of the truck which is the side of the truck that the outlet is actually going to be on I'm going to go up over the spare tire um, run it up out and then run it up and then out um, from behind the brake light Now that we made it to the back, I'm going to put in the wiring that's going to go to the sockets. Um, I've got these connectors here, so I'm going to put one on this end, and then off the other end, I'm going to have three strands of 14 gauge wire off each, um, you know, positive and negative, one for each socket. So, as you could tell, the 10 gauge butt connector really wasn't, wasn't quite big enough for the three 14 gauge wires to fit in. So, fast forward two days later, I had to order some 8 gauge butt connectors and the three 14 gauge wires fit in here just perfect. So we're going to go on and go ahead and continue with this.
installing the outlet we're going to use the three holes that we drilled earlier um, I'm going to put the USB on top voltmeter in the middle and the 12 volt socket on the bottom now to do this just take these little plastic locking nuts off the back side of each one of these because they are modular you can you don't even need the base plate you can literally put these in here individually if you wanted to or you can move them around in different positions with the base plate or the face plate should i say And here is a shot of the finished product. Um, I did make a few changes to this. I moved some things around. I took out that the, the dual USB port and put in a, another 12 volt outlet. So now I have two 12 volt outlets and I did swap out this middle um, voltmeter for this one here, which I'll link below if you want to check it out. It's a little easier to read. The, uh, the number is a little more clear. And also this one has a USB built into it. I didn't need that many USBs, only really need one. Um, so that's why I swapped out the USBs up here. But anyway, that's it. It looks great, works great. I've been using it for a couple months now. The fridge runs great off of it. Um, I do think I'm gonna put another one on the other side, dedicated to the fridge, and just have this for other accessories. But that's it. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Hope y'all got something out of it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Until next time, y'all take care of yourselves.